Hey. Welcome back. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, it's getting worse. The medication won't work somehow. <sighs> it's... it's fine. The pills never worked. And they never will be working. So... Yes. Could you bring me a cup of tea? That would be nice. Uh, no, nothing else. Thank you. Uh, thanks again. Oh, it's, it's still quite hot. No, nothing has changed since you left. My stomach still aches and uh, my head hurts. Just like every other month. Mm. You could say that we all have symptoms. Some a bit more than the others. And to answer your question, comes from my mother's side. My father must have been just as crazy as you, dating a woman like me. No, no, it's fine. We know how to prevent the worst. And I love you after all. Thanks for being here. Huh? Oh, oh yes, the tea. I almost forgot about it. It tastes nice and warm. Um, I'm not sure. We should get ready soon for, you know, a few minutes should be fine, but not too long like last time. He almost got hurt by me. I know you're not scared of me. Come here. Yeah, that would be more than nice. Um, could you perhaps take a look at the time? Thanks. Uh, no, no, no. I, I actually like hearing your talk. It comforts me. Especially now. I called my mum early on and asked her for some medication, but she wasn't able to find anything strong enough as well. Oh, and by the way, she looks forward to our dinner together. Um... I mean the dinner in about five days. <laughs> Don't worry. She likes you. And my father does so too. And I might as well like you too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And you know that. This is... This is nice. Sometimes I wish I could be normal. Without all this going on every single month. <laughs> you can't tell me that this is not going on in nerves. It's... It's not just one night. You constantly have to care for me because of it. Did you... Did you close the curtains in the living room? I opened them this morning and... Don't remember closing them again. 
You did. You are an angel. You're... You're thinking more about me than I do. I promise. If you are sick, I... I will care for you just as much as you do for me right now. <laughs> because more is barely possible. <laughs> um... Don't you ask me that every month? But fine. Um... It... It hurts a lot for... Half of a minute, up to three minutes. It really isn't a nice process. It's like growing too much too fast. Like it is tearing you apart from the inside. But after it, I, I feel like I could do anything. Yes. I... I feel free. Freer than I could ever feel or be. But uh, that comes with a price. Like everything does. I... I would exchange this freedom for normality. <laughs> but... You made me feel normal already. Like... There is nothing wrong with me. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you're right. I love you. <laughs> no, don't be here. <laughs> it's time. We should. I should. Get ready. Come on, let's go to the living room. I'll go get the chains. Here. Um, could you perhaps... Thank you, I'll sit down. It would be best if you... Put it a few more times around my torso, just in case. Don't worry, the chains won't hurt me. But I might hurt you as soon as I turned into a wolf. You are aware of how aggressive I can get. And don't loosen the chains, even if I seem friendly. The risk is too high for you, for me, and especially for the rest of the village. Uh, yes, I, I think they're secure enough now. It would be best if you just go and try to sleep. You watched it once and since then you still wake up from those images sometimes in the middle of the night. Besides, you just aren't cautious enough. So please, leave. It's, it's your decision. Even if I wanted, I cannot change your mind. I'm chained down after all. Oh. I think it starts. Now we only have to wait. I love you. Hey lovelies, Daydreamer here. If you enjoyed this audio, feel free to check out my other stuff. And if you want to support me, you can check out the first link in the description to my coffee. Furthermore, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye.